most electric NBA villain of them all in Trey Young, sorry Dylan Brooks, dropped 38 points and 13 dimes, which included 14 straight fourth quarter points and the game winning dagger to keep the Atlanta Hawks season ticking. Forcing a game six on the road, Ice Trey would pull up from 40, pulling off a moving jab step to fool Jalen Brown just enough before letting fly of a contested deep range bomb, which sealed game five for everyone still alive cheering in the ATL. Meanwhile, Himmy, my bad, Jimmy Butler, aka the second greatest Heat player of all time behind Dwayne Wade, has taken the Miami Heat from a team that was on the verge of being eliminated after losing a play-in game to now being one win away from upsetting the powerhouse number one seeded Milwaukee Bucks. And the soon-to-be oldest player across the association in LeBron Raymond James Sr. may be an NBA senior citizen, but it's very clear this man is him. King James is still insane on the court and inspirational off it, showing zero signs of slowing down anytime soon for the culture. This video breaks down all that and more in a special new series titled Deep Flow Update. Of course, I'll still have individual team content featured, regularly featuring in-depth game breakdown, but when things get this wild and we need to cover a lot at once, this will be our go-to type of content. Subscribe if you love the game of basketball, whether you have a passion for playing, watching, analyzing, coaching, simply just watching highlights, or all of the above. If that's the case, whether you love me or hate me, you will love this channel. Defense and flow is the key to winning a championship, and on Deep Flow Hoops, we're well aware of that. Knicks fans already learned what happened when they made a mockery a few years ago of Trey Young, so I'm not sure why Celtic fans also started the F Trey Young chants down the stretch in Game 5. Learning their lesson instantly, though, the son of Ray and Trey Young put any questions to sleep revolving around whether or not he's a top point guard in this league. As tough to hold in your hand as a tray of ice, it's becoming obvious to everyone this man Young is not merely cold, but this man's nice. He can pull up off the bounce to shoot it in your grill from wherever, whether he's standing from 50 feet away or he's feeling under the weather, because with the natural sharpshooting skill that Trey possesses, he's equipped to take over the league in Stephen Curry fashion. Good luck to repress him. Best part about Trey is he's aware of his forte. He's not going to stray away from who he's meant to be. A man between the lines with an array of sharpshooting mechanisms so polished you can't let him free. Whether it's the quick twitch release, the speed off the dribble, the stage presence to overcome the most blatant of hate, or how he eludes his matchup with shiftiness, there's no stopping this man if you let him get only the slightest bit of flow and confidence. Whether the Hawks can extend the series even further will be a sight to behold, but really is besides the point. What you will be told is that this man Trey Young carried the Hawks in Game 5 with a generational flurry, all without Atlanta's second best player in DeJounte Murray. All of the ATL is standing up, even if it's just for one or two more nights. A maestro in the pick and roll, Trey's float game, his footwork to maneuver for space, his ability to read and react after collapsing the defense, not to mention his ability to pull up in your face, should make you a Trey Young supporter, not a denier of his greats. In the end, Trey's destruction in Beantown was evidently shameless. That even came from an all time hater in Skip Bayless. <sighs> In the end, Mice Tray turned into Ice Tray. I've never seen anything quite like it. <sighs> Moving on to Miami and approaching Game 5 back in Milwaukee. Actually, it's pronounced Milwaukee, which is Algonquin for the good land. I was not aware of that. Jimmy Butler would absolutely torch the number one seeded Bucks back in South Beach, who may have worked all year for the first seed out east, but the play in heat have all the flow and momentum they need to become just the sixth number eight ranked team to win a round one series of all time. Think about that. In the year where the NBA puts a six patch on their jerseys to honor D Flow being from the six, I, I mean the late great Celtics legend Bill Russell, of course, the Heat are on the verge of becoming just the sixth team ever to win a playoff series after finishing as the eighth seed. That alone makes the script for this series hit different. If you needed more juice to the script though, how about the fact that Playoff Jimmy posted a mind-boggling 56-piece to put the powerhouse Bucks on the verge of elimination a couple nights ago? Butler's strength, finesse, ability to use angles, but most significantly intellectual prowess to raise his game to another stratosphere when the moment requires him to, doesn't compare to any other player's mental fortitude. The Butler did it! <laughs> Jimbo's ability to dice his way into the lane at will with a variety of dribble combos going downhill, paired with his ability to step back, gain pristine levitation on his jump shot, and drain contested jumpers under pressure, 
There's not a player with a better legacy in Miami Heat history other than Dwayne Wade if you need a refresher. Because while the man we're about to talk about in LeBron is certifiably him, according to Basketball References game score stat, Jimmy's recorded the six best playoff games for the Miami Heat in franchise history, including eight of the top 10 best playoff performances. Meanwhile, outside of Butler and the association in general, LeBron James is one of the only players in the association that can put up a spectacle when it's time to be the opposite of a ghost and show up when it matters the ultimate most. The four-time champion from Akron, Ohio quite literally embarrassed Dylan Brooks, which says a lot coming from yours truly considering I'm not in the business of being a trash-talking crook. Because after Brooks said in an interview before the series against the Lakers that all he'd have to do to beat LeBron is force him left, King James displayed that part of his game is pristinely deft by driving down the lane to that left hand and embracing the contact from Dylan Crook Brooks for a lay-in which sealed it in overtime, Braun showed off not only his full force power, but sublime. For some reason, it was still a surprise to Brooks in terms of how Braun can arise when the postseason arrives, despite torching my hometown team that I'm now forced to call the Lebronto Raptors, and Brooks being a Canadian that witnessed it himself, he didn't stick to the script in knowing how dangerous LeBron can be and how he's equipped. Using an all-time great mix of brute force and skill off the bounce, you'd think how elite of a talent Braun is wouldn't have to be pronounced. But evidently, many are unaware of the combination of mental and physical strength LeBron displays with his leadership, poise, adaptability, versatility, proclivity, and patience that he shows up with in the postseason when it takes four outings to eliminate him on a gamely basis. Don't doubt the king, the stats prove that you can't, as after Dylan don't call him Dylan Dennis did, Bronze proceeded to lead the entire playoffs in rebounds per game, while averaging 24 points on 49% shooting from the field, to go along with 5 dimes, 2 blocks per game, not to mention a steal, in this first round ordeal. Scary part is, LeBron's shooting just 18% from 3 point range, so if he just improves that the slightest bit, we're talking about a whole different type of domination. If fans in Memphis want any chance of coming back meanwhile, they'll have to hope for an abomination. Because it's time to stop sleeping on the king as the goat, and don't get it twisted, the name of the game is subjectivity, meaning whatever floats your boat is fine regarding the goat, but the accolades and by the eye test devotion can make the case that LeBron's the best ever. Just take for example the commotion in the form of goat noises that his teammates make whenever he stirs up a patented potion. So, we to get socks. We did that. But whether he's number one in each and every one of our clubs, which you could argue he should be given his relentless longevity, that'll come down to how he closes out this postseason in 2023.